In this video, we'll talk about how you can define lookup columns in a list control on a UX component. So a lookup column is a virtual column that looks up data in some other data source. So you can see that we have here a very simple list control right now that's displaying data from the order details table in the sample Northwind database. And we have our list set right now to return 500 rows of data and you can see that the list is currently displaying the product ID for each row in the order details table but it would be really nice to also display the product description now obviously we could define the SQL query that uh, is used to populate this list as a join that joins the order details with the products table and then we could retrieve order details and include that in all of the data that is retrieved from the server and sent back to the client. But if we did that, the payload, the amount of information that had to be sent from the server to the client would be much larger. And in this case, we've got 500 rows, but maybe we would, in another case, we might have two or three or 4,000 rows. And so that would be a significant increase in the amount of data that had to be sent from the server to the client. So it would be much nicer to be able to do a lookup on the client so that you only had to send back, say, a list of product IDs and names, and then you could look that information up. So now if we take a look at this UX component over here, you can see that we still have the same list control. Here's our list control with the 500 rows. But now you can see that for each row in this list, we're displaying the product description and that information is being picked up from this list over here which just contains a list of all of the product IDs and product descriptions. So let's go back now and see how this UX component was defined. So we'll go back now to controls and we can see that our first list is just simply a list of products. So we're displaying data from the products table in the Northwinds database and the two fields we're displaying are product ID and product name. Then when we go to our order details list over here, we can see that in our list properties, we've defined a new property here called lookup columns. And if we double click on lookup columns, we bring up the builder. And the builder indicates that you can define two different types of lookups. A list lookup where you're looking up data in another list and also a JavaScript function lookup, which is a JavaScript function that you create. So it's an arbitrary JavaScript function that will return data for the current row in the list. So in this case, we're doing a list lookup. So these are the fields in the current row of the list that we're going to use as our key fields into the lookup list. So that's product ID. Then we've specified the lookup list is called product list. And then we've specified which fields in the lookup list are the fields that we'd like to match. And so we'd like to match the product ID field over here. Now, in this case, we have a one-to-one -one link. So product ID in the uh, current list matches product ID in the lookup list. But you can specify multiple fields for the lookup field and for the key field. So once we've defined the lookup, then when we go to our list layout, we can see that in addition to the fields in the current query, we could now have two new fields here are indicated as lookup fields. And these are the fields from the lookup. So product ID and product start product name. So we've chosen product name over there. We've changed the heading to description. And now we have basically a new virtual column in this list. So here is the uh, list. But if we were to go and examine the response that was sent from the server to the browser, the data that was sent to populate this list does not include these fields over here. And furthermore, if I were to update the value in this list and then refresh this list, all of these lookup values would automatically update. So the ability to create lookup columns in a list is a very powerful new feature in the UX component list control. Thanks very much for watching.